So this is the Auto Trail stand that we actually visited on the Tuesday, the first morning of the show, and we went there to film the Auto Trail Tribute F60. Now when I filmed this, I just, and I got back, I discovered there's no sound for some reason. So uh, that's why I'm doing a voiceover. So a very nice red cab. So this is the Ford Transit. It's 130 brake horsepower, Euro 6 D engine. It's under six meters in length, 2.88 meters high, 2.35 meters wide. It's a license friendly 3,500 3, kilograms, and it's got quite a big payload, 640 kilograms. It's two berth, and it's got the whale central heating system, which uh, seems quite nice. And I think the rest of the video, I can walk around. No. Yeah, so we've got the Ford cab with automatic uh, transmission, steering wheel controls, quite low seats, and nice wide sofas. Above, electric drop down bed, above that, extractor fan, here's the kitchen. Burner hob, a Thetford duplex oven, and a big cutlery drawer. That's good. Quite a bit of space underneath there. Quite like that. Table stored, stowed in here, and he's tightening up. And a fridge, actually, with the door on the wrong side. That opens the wrong way for me. I hope you can get that change around, that makes it a little bit awkward. Got the controls up there. Your TV points here. It's like a little cubby hole there. And at the back, you've got the bathroom. So, quite a good size shower. It's nice and square. We can square, nice square sink. Fairly spacious cupboards in there. And a big hanging space in here. Oh, that's good. That is a good size. Yeah, quite nice. I think the biggest benefit obviously is the Ford. Outside there's another locker in there, it's a quite good size. Good morning. Good morning. And obviously it benefits from the whale heating system. Which apparently saves a fair bit of space. It is a nice looking van. I do like the colour. wondered what it looks like before it has a motorhome on the back of it. Right, I'm on the Marquis stand and we're looking at the Benamar Tessero 487. Free flat screen TV, back an awning, great big garage. Well, it is open. Huge garage, that's an enormous garage. Uh, electric points in here, spare wheels in here, looks like the table's there. That's a really good garage. We'll come back to the figures in a minute. Of course, 
Jeepers on the Ford. 170 brake horsepower. That's good. I wonder if it's open. Have a look. So it's on a 170 brake horsepower. It's under 7 meters, 6.98. 7, point, 7 foot 6 wide, license friendly, and it's got a payload of 390 kilograms. Oh, it is open as well. Let's have a look. Okay, this is different. So we can find some lights. Uh, sure, I'll just switch it on at the moment. There. That's it. Yeah, so you've got sofa that side, and a sofa this side looks like you've got a one of them turns into a travel seat. I'll give you a huge amount of leg room there, but I suppose that's not bad. Yeah, that's good actually. And it's a bit. It's quite a novel use of space. It's quite a relatively long van. You've got a drop-down bed up there. No cupboards underneath, which does give you a bit more height. I can just about, well, I can fit quite easily under it, that's good. Well, I'm just under six foot. Uh, it's a manual Ford Transit. Steering wheel controls. I do like the Fords, it's, uh, I don't know how I keep saying it. Low seating position there, more car-like. Neck curtains. Mm. Most of the controls seem to be up there. TVs there as well. Quite stylish with uh, the chrome work. Looks like there's a big, oh, yeah, a big drawer to pull out there. That's good. Lots of space for your breakfast cereals. Really good size fridge. A Svan uh, microwave, whoever they are. Coca Cola can up there. Oh, look at the kitchen. Thetford triplex. That means it's got an electric hot plate. 12 volt, 240 volt socket there. Sink. So we've got storage space in here, a little bit of storage space, cutlery drawer, that's okay. Behind this is the washroom. Square sink, loads of mirrors, lots of mirrors. And going around the corner, a very stylish shower. Duck board at the bottom. Hanging rail. Double doors on the front. Towel rail. It's funny when you see a new van, it takes quite a while to sort of take everything in. Sometimes I've seen motors before and you know what to expect. So if I miss anything, extractor fan, sliding rail to hang things on, to put things on, little sliding hooks, that's quite nice, cupboards in the kitchen, at a reasonable height as well. Hmm, it's a belt be worth another look this one, I say it's under 7 metres. Got a travel seat, so you can take a person with you. These sofas look nice. I have to try them out. Yeah, that's all right. The light's a bit bright, but <laughs> I like this. A lot of a lot of motorhomes have uh, a locker in the door. They're all learning from each other. Oh no, that's not a locker. That's where your electrics are. Okay, that's different. 
Right. Yeah, I wouldn't be too happy with all the, that dropping down all the time on electrical connections. But yeah, certainly an interesting van. Obviously you've got all the cubby holes from the Ford Transit. Bit of space up there. But uh, just a pity that's not closed in. Make some useful storage space up there. On either side of that, put a locker on there. Yeah, very good. Okay. 